been a while again. Uh, it's been really, really, really hot, um, sticky, and uh, uh, straight and sandly humid, so I've been kind of just staying in the house. Um, just a little update. Um, I did get the fuel cell. Um, it's just mounted in right now. It's not really plumbed. The only thing I really did was plumb in the, uh, the uh, fuel filter, the pre-filter, I guess you could say, before the fuel pump. Um, it's the only thing I really, only thing I really did, um, besides mounting it. Um, it's a little eight-gallon uh, fuel cell, not the huge one. But the reason for this video is not to talk about the fuel cell. It's to talk about something else I picked up. Um, as you know. Uh, turbo cars run really hot, um, so uh, I ended up coming across, boom, if you know what this is, before I even say anything, put it in the comments, but uh, it is a Cryo 2 setup, intercooler sprayer um, setup, I'd already been messing with it, uh, simplifying it, still CO2 in it. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you step by step on just how easy it is to install one of these kits. Um, this is obviously a used kit. I'm going to get a new spray bar because this one's a little small. Um, instead of running, uh, the way it was set up is they had one of these solenoids for the intercooler sprayer and another solenoid for the purge. But yeah, like I was saying, one of, one of them he used for purge and one he used for the intercooler sprayer. I'm not going to use a purge. It's just a waste of CO2. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I already pretty much simplified I was going to run both solenoids. I was just going to get an extender piece like this one here, run it here and just run two solenoids instead of just one, but it's kind of pointless because it only runs off of the pressure of the tank. So however much pressure the tank is putting out is how much pressure is going to come out of both of these at the same time or one or whatever. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. You can run 40 solenoids off of one tank and it's, it's going to do the same thing essentially unless you're putting it in different places like if I wanted to run one solenoid to the spray bar and then one solenoid to the radiator or something or whatever you know what I mean that would make sense but it just it, it doesn't make sense to run two so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, essentially I'm going to take these screws out and then I'm just going to dismantle it until I get to one and then I'll be right back Alright, so once again, we've simplified it, we've gotten ourselves down to one solenoid, which is all we need. We got our two fittings, one in, one out of the solenoid. We have our line here. Um, you're going to want to put some uh, some red tape, I don't know what it's called, but uh, thread tape or something. You're going to want to put that on there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to thread these into here then I'm going to make a little bracket to mount in the engine bay so that uh, we can mount this up then I'm going to wire this up to my switch panel then once she's all wired up I'm going to uh, run the line from the back uh, where the bottle is up to the front and then Alright guys, so we got the uh, little bracket made, it's just a rough, um, I'm going to paint it down actually. Um, we got the fittings in, got the wires ran, so now I'm just going to run these lines and uh, figure out where I'm going to, I might run them inside the car, I might run them outside, I don't know, so I'm going to be right back. The main issue is where I'm going to put the bottle. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I don't want to put it straight in the back because I'm trying to keep the weight off the back. So I might just put it dead center right there. Um, I still need to get a bottle mount yet because I don't have one of those. So depending on where I put the bottle is depending on where I need to drill the, the hole to run the line up front or underneath the carpet or whatever. Um, I have to look up regulations first before I can go any further. So this is probably going to end up being like a three or four day process because I want to make sure that everything's done properly so that when I do take the car to the track I don't have any major issues where like oh where's this line ran oh it's inside the car no it has to be outside the car so I don't want that issue to arise um, I already have to make a firewall for the fuel cell um, so essentially I'm going to make a box 
it comes up basically from here it comes up comes back down and all the way to about here and that'll bolt in uh, when I go to the track and unbolt when I'm out of the track uh, so I gotta do a little thinking and a little research um, where I can run these lines safely uh, without having any issues but as of right now it's mounted wired um, I got the intake manifold back in after painting it. I painted the fuel rail as well. I painted the fuel rail in black. Um, I'm also going to be spraying the, the turbo housing the same color as the intake manifold. Um, I've got to get around to doing it. Um, like I said, it's been really hot lately, and I've just been kind of losing motivation to come out here in the heat. So, uh, I'm gonna figure out, I'm gonna do some research and figure out where I can run these lines um, safely to where the track's not gonna give me any issues about it because I don't like the track and not be able to run because of something stupid like that and have to sit outside and fix it in the pits or whatever. So I'm gonna do some research and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm gonna make this quick and the phone's gonna die. But I got the uh, front line for the sprayer. Plumbed in, wrapped around, then where my wire suck is, rub through here, and then down. Now that I have clamped right there to hold it in place, and I just have the squares that tied onto the board. For now, I have the other line ran through the firewall, and then we'll land and hook. There's so much stuff on the car. And then just land. Along the side here, as you can see, and then essentially just runs right there to the back. Uh, I did look it up and I asked somebody, and they said for CO2 it shouldn't be an issue to run in the car. So we're gonna run it in the car. So I, I'm gonna put the bottle right there dead center. Um, so that's the way it's gonna be. Um, next thing to do is just to get the bottle holder and uh, throw the bottle in and uh, I'm gonna do the wiring I gotta charge my phone up and stuff like that and I'm gonna come back out and wire it up and show you what it does so uh, I'll be right back after my phone charges a little bit alright guys another day um, another day so I got the I got the power for the solenoid, watch the switch panel, the yellow wire and on, plugged in. So that's all done. Put the screws in after we know everything's good. Um, I have the ground wire right here. Um, I'm thinking about grounding that in a day or or extending it and grounding it wherever. I'm probably going to ground it in the bay, so I'm going to ground that in the bay real quick. And then we're going to um, open up the bottle and we're going to test our switch. Um, eventually, I'm just going to hook it up to a push button. I'm going to put, put it right here. I'm going to label this as CO2 because I have something else for this switch and something else for this switch. So all the switches are basically taken right now. But uh, I could do this for temporary just you know, for now. So I'm going to eventually put a little push button here for the CO2. And, uh, so let me uh, let me get this ground hooked up and then we'll get the we'll get it to test the quick and call it done. So I'll be right back. Guys, this is the moment of truth. Uh, we got everything right in, we got the ground in. We are going to open this bottle all the way. We're going to leaks. Got the thunder storm here. So the storm gets here. Oh! All right. So, get a power switch panel. Gauges. It's a fan. Fuel pump. Now, when I hit this, 
You should hear the click and the spray a little bit. There you go. Now it's, um, there's only air left in the tank, I guess. Um, so it's not really spraying anything cold on the inner floor at the moment, but you get the purpose. And that's it. And that's how you do it. Um, it's really simple. Uh, one of these kits uh, costs around 500 ish brand new um, it's not exactly necessary but it's not ex it's not a bad idea um, if you're running a turbo car um, keep the intake temperatures down which is good the denser the air the more power you make so the cooler you can get the air the better um, it was either this or a meth uh, meth injection kit which I still might get the meth kit later on um, and just use this as like a secondary type deal um, so yeah guys I uh, showed you how simple it is how easy it is um, I was looking up regulations I didn't see anything um, on where uh, the line should be ran so I haven't ran through the carver right now but just in case I'm gonna run the uh, the line underneath against the frame rail and I'm gonna have the little you know clamps to clamp it to the frame rail and all that type of stuff just to be safe because um, it is a high pressure line um, so I don't really want a high pressure line carrying CO2 to rupture in my car if I'm inside of it or something like that I'd rather go outside to atmosphere so uh, with that being said like comment share with your friends um, any questions or comments or anything throw them down in the comment section below um, I'll leave a link on uh, to see up the cryo 2 site so you can check it out uh, see if it's the right kit for you if you're boosted or whatever if you plan on being boosted or whatever I think it's a good idea uh, keep your, your air intake temp down and you know you can't really lose with that so uh, like comment subscribe peace